you have no idea, um, been kind of a cabin hermit lately, so this is not my first time out, though. I will, I will reassure you of that. But <laughs> I was invited to another church last Sunday. They had their candlelight service, and I went there. Sorry. Not sorry. Anyway, um, I'm back here with my family, so amen. Um, I just want to share a little bit about what God is doing and um, sing you a song. Or, yeah, I'm going to invite you guys to well, uh, also join as well. But, <clears throat> try to do this without crying. Um, so, here's my heart. Lord really hit home for me this morning because um, speak what is true. A lot of the past few weeks and months, Satan has really been coming at me with lies. And I've been believing some of those lies. And um, I, every single time, you know, I have to deal, I have to process, I have to do, go through my process. First is admitting it. First is like, you know, I have this problem, Lord, please help me with it. You know, I have, I'm believing these lies from Satan. And I posted some things on Facebook. And some, sometimes I think I'm a little too real because people are like, I think you need to get counseling, and I think you need to do this and that. And it's like, this is just my process. This is just me being honest. I'm not a fake person. I want to be as real as possible. Um, because I hate when people are fake, and it's just, it's just like, why not just be real, you know? Um, so, yeah. If you see me posting stuff about things that are kind of dark, it's just me processing it. And um, so God has really been taking me on this uh, identity identity lately and I'm like oh I think I've had myself pretty well figured out and I think I know who I am in Christ you know but then you get a, a, a curveball and it sends you spinning and you're like I don't even know who I am right now you know it's like I thought I I thought I dealt with that already that was back 15 years ago and it just came back again so it's just layers and layers of God constantly healing you and constantly purging you of, of everything and uh, this is a little example. Can everybody hear me? Am I good? Okay. This is an example of my friend. My friend gave me this example. I'm going to steal it from her. But this is us right here. This is us. Okay? This is Christ. You're in Christ when you're saved, when you accept him and you're saved. And you are in Christ, okay? Now, when you're doing your own thing, you're... Anyway, you're in there moving around, you're in your life doing your thing, um, doing your own thing, not God's thing. But you're still in Christ. Okay? Now, the lie that's been coming at me is you have to go back to square one to, and of course it's not wrong to ask for forgiveness and, and whatnot, but here I am striving so hard to try to do and do and do. No. That's, you're in Christ. You're good to go. God's forgiven you. You're good. All you have to do is just accept it. Just be. Just be who you are right now. Right here where you are right now. Just be who you are. And it's like, well, God, who is that? Who is, who am I? And he's like, you're, you're my daughter. That's, that's all I have to just, just stop striving. Stop trying to work for your salvation. And I know that up here, but to put it into action is another, it's, it's, it's hard for me sometimes. So that's the gist of what I wanted to share. And um, this song that is about to play, that I'm about to sing for you guys, is such a powerful song, Victory. Azarian and I worship to it every day. Because we like to remind Satan that he is no more. Amen. He is defeated and he yeah. is powerless. He is, he is. He's done. He may try to come at us, but he's done. Right. The victory's God's. Right. So go ahead, bud. Yeah. And you guys can worship. <laughs> Sweet, sweet, between Jesus, yes I do. Jesus. 
Jesus.